Hey everyone, welcome back to my new Alight Motion tutorial. And today we are going to create this. So let's get started. Can I get 500 likes in this tutorial? If yes then please hit the like button. Now open a light motion app. Click on plus icon, and first create a new element. I am calling it logo comp, but you can call it anything. Select aspect ratio 1 is to 1. Resolution 1080p, and frame rate 30 fps. And click on create element. Here click on plus icon, and add round rectangle shape. Now to adjust the size, go to move and transform. Go to scale, and increase the shape size to around 775. Now to change the color, go to color and fill. Click on gradient option, and here change this black color to white. And change this white color to anything else, you can choose any color according to your choice. I will select this light green color. Then move this handle and place it in this area. Enable pan and zoom option, and zoom out the preview screen. Then move this handle like this, to give a nice shuttle white color. After that double tap with two fingers, to reset the preview screen. Now we will give a 3D look to this shape. For that go to effects. Click on add effects, and search for smooth bevel. Click on the effect and apply standard settings. Here scroll down, and increase the diffuse intensity value to around 0.59. Then decrease the specular intensity value to 0 and decrease specular elevation value to 0.45, to get a nice shuttle 3D look. Now we will go back, and add our logo, for that click on plus icon. Go to media option, and add your logo. To adjust the logo size, go to move and transform. Go to scale, and decrease the size according to your logo, I will keep the size to around 500. Also, we will change the logo color. For that we will go to effects. Click on add effects, and search for solid color. Click on the effect and apply standard settings. And here change the color to white. Now we will add one more effect. Again click on add effect. And search for long shadow. Apply standard settings. Here decrease the shadow size to around 0.070. And change the angle value to around 43.5 degree. Also increase the fade value to around 100%, so that we get a smooth shadow. Now go back. And close this element. And create a new project. I am calling it minimal logo animation, but you can call it anything. I will also change this aspect ratio to 16 is to 9. Keep all the other settings same, and create a new project. Click on this plus icon, and add a rectangle shape for the background. Then click on this three dots above, from here select stretch to composition area, to make it full screen. To change the color, go to color and fill. And here select any color according to your choice. I will select this light green color. Also I will rename this layer to background. Now let's add a circle shape. Go to move and transform. Go to scale option. And increase the size to around 605. Now go to color and fill. And here select this disable color option. Then we go to border and shadow. Here we will enable this stroke option and change this stroke color according to your choice. I will use the white color. Now add a rectangle shape. And from color and fill, change the shape color to white. To animate this shape, go to move and transform. First go to scale. Zoom in the timeline, go few frames forward. And decrease the size to around 50. Add a keyframe, and move it to 13 frames. 
Then add one more keyframe. Decrease the size to zero. And move it to starting. To create a reveal animation. After that go to speed curve. And here make the curve like this. To make this animation more smooth. Now we will go to rotation. Here also add a keyframe. And move this keyframe to starting. Add one more keyframe. Change the angle value to 360 degree. And move it to 13 frames. After that go to speed curve. And make the curve like this. Then come to position. Here also add a keyframe. And move it to starting. Then go to around 13 frames. Add keyframe. And here move this shape to left side. Place it over the circle which we have make. Now let's go to around 1 second 20 frames. Add keyframe. Then at 1 second 26 frames, add one more keyframe. And here move this shape like this. Then at 2 seconds 11 frames, add one more keyframe. And here move this shape to the center. After that go to speed curve, and make the curve like this. Also, click on this layer option, and make a duplicate layer. Now select this duplicate layer, and move it 10 frames forward, to add some delay between both the layer. Go few frames forward, select the layer, again go to move and transform. In position, move this keyframe to 1 second 20 frames. And move this keyframe to 1 second 26 frames. Then move this last keyframe to 2 seconds 11 frames, so that both the shapes come to center at same time. Also, I will rename this layer to Rectangle 2, to keep all the layers organized. Now let's go to starting. And add a null object. Now select this Rectangle 2 layer, click on this parent option above, and parent it to null 1, so that we can control this layer from this null object. Now select this null layer, go few frames forward, so that we can see the shape. Go to move and transform, in rotation, change the angle value to minus 180 degree, to move the shape opposite side. Now let's go to around 1 second, add one more null object to control both the shapes. I will rename this null layer to main controller, but you can call it anything. Now select this rectangle 1 layer, and parent it to main controller. Also select this null 1 layer, and parent it to the main controller. Select main controller layer, go to move and transform, in rotation, add keyframe at starting. Then go to around 1 second 26 frames, add keyframe, and here change the angle value to minus 180 degree. Also go to speed curve, and here make the curve like this. Now if we preview this, we will get this cool animation. But to take this animation one level up, we will add some more elements. In 18 frames, add a round rectangle shape. Go to color and fill, and change its color to white. Then go to edit shape, Zoom in the timeline, then go few frames forward. Select radius, and keep the value to around 50. Select size, decrease Y value to 10. And decrease X value to 0. Add keyframe, and move this keyframe to starting. Then add one more keyframe, increase the X value to around 80 and move it to 1 second. Now let's go to around 1 second 26 frames. Add keyframe. Then at 2 seconds 11 frames, add one more keyframe. And here change the size to 0. 
Also go to speed curve. Make the curve like this, to make it more smooth. And between this keyframe, make the curve like this. After that come to around 1 second. Select this round rectangle layer, and parent it to the main controller, to rotate it along with the other shapes. And it will look like this. Now go to around 18 frames. Select this circle layer which we have added. Go to move and transform. Go to scale, and decrease its size to around 463. Add keyframe. Then move it to 1 second. In 18 frames add one more keyframe, and decrease the size to 0, to create a pop-up animation. Go to around 1 second 26 frames. Add keyframe. Then at 2 seconds 5 frames add one more keyframe. And here change its size to around 369. I think it's look good. After that we will go to speed curve, and make the curves like this. Now we will also animate this stroke. For that let's go to 18 frames. Then go to border and shadow, here add a keyframe, and increase the stroke size to around 63. Then go to around 1 second, add keyframe, and change the size to around 17. Now go to around 1 second 26 frames, add keyframe, at 2 seconds 5 frames, add one more keyframe, and here change the stroke size to 0. After that go to speed curve, and make the same curves. And this is how it's going to be look like. Let's go to 2 seconds 5 frames. Add a new circle shape here. And from color and fill, change its color to white. Then go to move and transform to animate this shape. In scale, go few frames forward. Add keyframe. Here change the size to 0. And move this keyframe to starting. Then add one more keyframe. Change the circle size to around 2440, to cover the full screen. Move this keyframe to 3 seconds 20 frames. After that we will go to speed curve, and here make the curve like this. Now from this layer icon, make a duplicate layer. And move this layer to 2 seconds 12 frames, to add some delay between both the animation. Also select this duplicate layer, and change its color to light green. Then go to move and transform. In scale, move this keyframe to 2 seconds 25 frames. And here keep the circle size to around 585, to make it small. Also from this layer icon, again make a duplicate layer and move this layer to 2 seconds 18 frames, to add some delay. Also change its color to white. Again go to move and transform. In scale, move this keyframe to 3 seconds 4 frames. Go to the keyframe, and change the size to around 590. Now we will add our logo. For that go to around 2 seconds 5 frames. Click on this plus icon, Go to element, and from here add this logo comp which we have made before. Now to animate this logo, again go to move and transform. In scale, zoom in the preview. Add keyframe, and here change the size to zero. Then go to around 2 seconds 12 frames, add one more keyframe, and here increase the size to around 275. Then at 2 seconds 18 frames, add one more keyframe. 
and here decrease the size to around 198 to create a bounce animation. Now let's go to around 2 seconds 25 frames, add one more keyframe, and here increase the size to around 260. Add one last keyframe at 3 seconds 4 frames, and here keep the size to around 240. After that go to speed curve, and here make the curve like this, to make this animation more smooth. Now we will add some small shape elements. At 3 seconds, again go to element. From here import this shape element comp, and you can download this for free, from the link given in description. Now we will add text. For that go to around 3 seconds 4 frames. Again click on this plus icon, go to element, and from here import this text comp. You can also download this text comp for free, from the download link given in description. Now to change this text, go to element properties. And here write you text, whatever you want. And place this layer below the logo layer. Also select this layers, and at 4 seconds 20 frames. Trim this extra part of this layer from right side. Now our logo animation is ready. So let's preview it. And we will get this cool looking logo reveal animation. I hope you like this video. If you did, then make sure to hit the like button, so that YouTube recommend this video to more people. And if you are new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. I will see you in my next video, till then bye.